Hello. We're going to try to tune the A4 note on a Yamaha console piano. It's got three strings, and we're going to try to use spectral analysis to show us where we're going as we tune it. Here's my setup. Here's the piano. Here's my computer. Here's my tuning hammer attached to the A4 note. And here's my Zoom H2. And of course, Charlie and Count and Louie are watching what goes on here. Here's the piano, again with the tuning hammer and with the Zoom H2. And here's a closer picture. Okay, that was my uh, initial condition. The three strings are obviously out of tune. Here's the time trace. Here's the spectrum. You can see that there's quite a bit of splitting. For example, well, here's quite a bit right there on the second harmonic, but we take a look at the first harmonic and the uh, fundamental. And you can see I have one string that's fairly close, one string that's not. Turns out this has purposely been designed to be the left string, this is the center string, and this is the right string. All right. And then here is the spectrum, fine grid spectrum. And here's my center string, left string, which is about 35 cents flat. And here's my right string, which is about 35 cents sharp. Okay, that's the sound after my first adjustment. And here is the consequence. I'm trying to move my center peak, or my center string, closer to zero cents. And all I did was actually make it go over to about six plus from about minus four, because I didn't have a good handle on the tuning hammer. Here's the result of my next attempt, and I'm going back to almost minus 10 cents. Okay, here is the final adjustment for the middle string. I'm about two cents off. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to move to the string over here, the left string, and try to move that peak in this direction. You see these, these time traces here with the beating shows that I'm clearly not there. And I did, after many attempts, get the two peaks to get together. I brought this peak over to here. So now I have the left and the middle string close to zero cents, but I have my right string clear out here. Let's take another attempt here. And that sounds better, and the trace looks a little bit better, even though we've got some things going on there. Here's the spectrum, which probably looks pretty good. Let's see. No, not, no obvious splitting. Take a look here. It looks pretty good. Let's take go out here to the second harmonic, third harmonic. Okay, there's some splitting there. But not much. Okay, let's go to tuning. All right, here's the uh, tuning. You can see that I've got all three strings pretty much under the same envelope in terms of the peak. The uh, fact that the center string peak and the left string together here went up to here is just a consequence of some of the mathematical difficulties in terms of resolving a spectrum. I'm going to let it sit for a while. And I got this result. And you can see that it went from here up to here. A little bit different, but I guess that happens with time. So that concludes my attempt to tune the A4 three-string 